Hello, my Bill for Thousand Nation. How is everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a great day. If not, I hope it gets better from here. We are back with another Nukes Top 5. This one is titled 10 Scary Videos. Yes, that that's that's it. No, nothing else. Just 10 scary videos. It shocked me as well. All right, I'm excited to get into today's story. If you guys are too, please go ahead, turn them lights down low, put on something comfy, couple, something special. Let's get spooky. Oh, I'm so excited. The newest addition to my collection. Just bought it from the antique store. Doll collector Linda Deary from Murfreesboro, Tennessee was browsing Facebook Marketplace one day when she saw an ad placed by a woman who was giving away four antique dolls for free. Linda drove to the woman's house and There's a reason why that motherfucker's doing it. They fucking haunt it. Leave them. Leave them where they're at. Picked up the dolls. When she got back home, she posed the dolls on her bed and began taking pictures. Why? Don't put those grody, creepy ass things on a place where you go night night, bro. That's not what we I would never sleep in that fucking bed. Ever. Why, why would you do that? Pictures. But then something very odd happened. The dolls seemed to move right before her eyes. See? Linda grabbed her phone so don't and need started to deal with filming. that shit. Soon after this, Linda and her partner began to experience strange and unexplained activity. Personal items around their house would go missing. It could be the fucked up Chucky doll back there in the back. Shit. And objects seem to move on their own or get knocked off shelves. One day, Linda gets a bad haircut from a local hairdresser. So she decides to make a video showing off her terrible new hairdo. But what happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> a lot of people want to see what my hair looks like. So I want to see the sides. Like my bangs, I've had to like fix my bangs myself. But this is what it looks like if I don't straighten pieces of it. And like, <clears throat> it's just a whole mess. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what the hell that was that? That scared me. Okay. Come on. What the f was that? Did you see that? Like it read, oh no. Absolutely not. No. At first, Linda believes that all the frightening activity in her house is likely caused by the playful ghost of a little girl who might be attached to her new dolls. She oh, even finds it. the whole idea kind of funny and jokes about it online. One day, Linda sets up a silly video for her social media where she puts a Chucky doll inside a cupboard, waiting for it to fall out. But this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. Thing, it's about to be a mess. Let's see. Ah! It was Chucky. What the f Okay, I didn't plan this one. Chucky's just supposed to pop out, but his hair is moving. Okay, I really do. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Joke's over. Joke's I made over. my nipples hard, bro. The video goes oh, very fuck. wrong as the doll's hair begins to move for no reason. And then Chucky's head seems to suddenly spin around nope. all on its own. Nope. And things just fuck get that. even weirder from here. One night, Linda and her partner are asleep in bed when they are woken up by the sound of loud banging from their front room. The bangs are so loud and intense that the couple believes that someone is trying to break into their house. Uh -huh. They immediately call the police. So officers arrive on scene and review footage recorded by the couple's front door ring camera. This is our house. Yeah, let's look at it for a bit. Yeah, dude, something's in our window right now, bro. Stop being hyper, please, it's scaring me. Ready? 
Something in the window. As the motion triggered video starts, it looks like someone or something has pulled the couple's front curtain open. But even creepier, whoever this person is, They're they inside. appear to be inside the house. Then whoever it is seems to slam the curtain closed again with a bang. Linda swears that she and her partner stayed inside the bedroom and didn't move until police arrived. The officers checked the house inside and out, but there was no one else there. So now Linda has had enough. Yeah, they're even looking at it like they're like, yeah, okay. The thing is, like, you didn't see like the hand, you know, like, you know, I don't know how everyone opens curtains, but me, I, I kind of use the back of my hand. I don't, my mom had these really expensive curtains whenever I was little. My grandma had really expensive curtains and those type of people, they switched their curtains with the seasons and you had several different kinds and, you know, you wasn't allowed to like get your greasy ass fingers on them because it was really expensive to keep them, you know, nice. So I always used the back of my hand to do it. And then whenever you close it, you like take your finger across the tap and just slide it over like that. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> I didn't see no one like, I didn't see like a body part with the curtain. Make sense? Off of the creepy dolls. Recently, she attempted to get rid of the dolls at a yard sale, but in a darkly funny twist, Linda says that someone actually stole three of the four dolls from her yard sale. To the thief that stole these dolls out of the yard sale at three o'clock this morning, you're going to regret it. They're haunted. Had you waited till sunlight, you would have seen the sign that was under them that said haunted dolls. If you have children, please don't buy. So good luck to whoever took those dolls because it seems like they're gonna need it. Hello, doggy. Reddit user birthday, Love is baby. Evil from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is driving to work at around six in the morning. He receives a text message from his frantic wife who asks him to check their surveillance camera footage on his phone. When he watches the video back, it chills him to his core. An unexplained spooky little voice can be heard whispering, yeah. hello, and the family dog just goes nuts. Loses his shit. Poor boy. It's okay, Pope. Oh, the Pope. The Reddit user says that other than his wife and dog, no one else was home at the time of the recording. He says that they have never experienced anything like this, and they don't know what to make of the creepy little voice. So did the couple's dog get scared by a paranormal entity? Or just what is that creepy little voice? Old school. Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California was built over what was once a cemetery. The school even honors its dark history by featuring real pieces of old recovered headstones. Okay, I, I understand. You know, the world's a big place. People die. There's probably graves everywhere. But why would you want to build a school on an actual cemetery? Did they move all the bodies? Of, and why Why are you putting their tombstones inside, like, fucking decoration? It's kind of an insult. Like, I get, you know, it's inside of a school, mines and shit like that. But, you know... Schools are full of a bunch of kids you don't give two shits about and can be very disrespectful. Like, I would not be doing none of that. On its walls inside the school, 
No. So late one Friday night, a janitor is working the night shift at Cathedral no. High School. And uh, something no. happens that makes his blood run cold. All right, I um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, is this the balloon? But this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. Um, here at work, I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. If this is the balloon, we've seen it a thousand times. I think this is the balloon. And something. All right. All right, everyone watch really closely because you'll be focused on the balloon and shit. Down here, you'll see something go from here to here, just whew. Um, just so, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on the cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky, shit, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um. It's like a really shitty level in the back rooms, bro. Don't don't deal with that shit, bro. You just need to just go. Just go. Just Shut the door. Balloons can't work doors. Ooh, okay. Alright, watch down the end of the hall too. No, no, no. I remember, watch back in here. Right here. It just, it just follows me no matter what. Ooh! See it? See that shit? The janitor is completely alone when a red balloon Bro. inside one of the classrooms seems to start moving. Bro. I've seen that like three times. It still makes my nipples hard and gives me the goose pumps. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I'm telling you, like, I am goosed the bump up, bro. Look at that. Look at that. I got it. There you go. On its own Woo. and follows him out into the hallway. Suddenly, he spots a dark shadow quickly darting past a window on the other end of the school. Now, previous janitors at the school claim to have witnessed multiple incidents of paranormal activity. So when the custodian captures this spooky evidence, he shows it to the building security guard. It's a... You see how it's it's falling out the back. classroom too? Look at the look at the back though. Look yeah. at look at the class with the light. What the f I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You saw that, right? Nah. Nah, bro. Nah, man. Yeah, no. How long you been working security here, man? How long man, you been working security? I, man, I mean, I've been here a few months, but bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that. <sighs> As you can see, even the security guard is a bit freaked. So did the janitor have an encounter with the spirits who are buried in the ground below the school? Let me know what you think. Uh, are the bodies still we under the school We need scary though? videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be like, is the body still underneath the school? Because if they are, yeah, that's fucked, bro. Watcher at the window. A man is up late one night when he hears strange sounds coming from his home office. He grabs his phone, and what he records is truly shocking.
now, the guy was freaked out as whatever is outside the window seems to disappear when the lights are turned on. No. But it's look still there. closer. There's eyes. Just outside the window, we can see that there is still a strange pair of glowing eyes staring back at the man inside. Like a cat? Now, online viewers said that this video could easily be explained as a person or an animal standing just outside the window. Like a cat. So, to prove them wrong, the man films the office window again. Turns out the office is actually two stories up, with no way for anything to climb up or sit outside the window. Never mind. So who or what I still think it's is cat. this? I've seen cats get in some you weird decide. places. The crossing. Cat. Somewhere in the Middle East, a guy is riding his motorcycle down a lonely mountain road in the middle of nowhere. He encounters something that he just can't explain. Uh -oh. Oh, there's snow. I love snow. What is that? Some small thing seems to walk across the road right in front of him. Now, that's not so weird, but whatever this is, it seems to be walking on two legs, and then it seems to raise itself up and jumps right over the roadside guardrail. Like a the motorcycle rider is shocked. He rechecks his video footage when he gets home, but he has no idea what he encountered on that isolated mountain road. Disturbing results. Okay. YouTuber Tyler Blanchard is very much a skeptic when it comes to ghosts and the paranormal. Tyler believes that the reason ghost hunters usually find so-called paranormal evidence in haunted places is simply coincidence, coupled with the fact that they expect to experience paranormal activity. Are ghosts surreal or just scared people imagining things? So Tyler cooks up a very interesting experiment. He invites his friends to go on a ghost hunt. However, he splits them into two groups. One group, including Tyler, goes to a house that many paranormal investigators claim to be extremely haunted, the Brackenford Manor in Lake Arrowhead, California. But the second group, they are just sent to a randomly chosen Airbnb. This house has never had a reported death in it. No guests have ever recorded any paranormal activity. It's just a normal house. Now, this house is not haunted in any way. However, the second group is told a fake ghost story about how this typical random Airbnb house is extremely haunted and was the site of some grisly and terrible events, none of which is true. So in the 70s, there was a family that lived in this house. A burglar basically the broke in and the family, and it's rumored that they still are here. Oh man, not this ghost stuff, man. <laughs> so. The experiment begins and the ghost hunt starts at the real haunted house, the Brackenfern Manor. Now Tyler isn't expecting anything to happen or to find any kind of paranormal activity. So when he and his group start investigating, they're mostly cracking jokes and playing pranks. He's seriously. Tyler, I know you guys are hiding somewhere. He's talking to himself to try to keep himself from getting really scared. Funny prank. Let's hand in now, am I right? Please. I heard a noise over here. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> for the love of God. I'm ah! not alive. For a good bit, I was scared. <laughs> But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit spookier. The guys head to the house's cellar and use a twist. It definitely smells like there was a spirit in here. It's straight demonic. Twist flashlight and an ultrasound motion sensor music box that plays a tune whenever it detects movement. Now it's calibrated. Everything that happens from this point is something going in front of it. If you're here, can you can you make the music? 
box start. Okay. That's fine. Um, ring the music box if it's if it's okay if we can sit down. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. That is phenomenal. Honestly, this seemed so unexplainable, but not as unexplainable as the not haunted house. Is anybody here with us? All right, literally nothing was happening there. Uh, this, this is weird. If you are here, would you mind turning on one of the flashlights? Or the motion sensor, whichever you prefer. You prefer the motion sensor? Oh, oh both, I guess. Light, that's oh, everything. Disco rave up in this bitch, right? Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Unless there's something in front of Wow. And even after repositioning, it still went off. Well, thank you very much for having us. We're gonna, we're gonna go upstairs to this beautiful home. Please stay stay here. It's been awesome hanging out with you, uh, but we're gonna pack up our things and, and go. Thank you for this experience. I wonder if the equipment is also going on and off at the other house or if it's just going off here. Because if it's just going off here, that is pretty sus. Real, right? Like, that's crazy. I mean, that box hasn't worked at all ever, 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 ever. No. And so we get here. We calibrated it three times and there and it worked every time. There's some presence moving in front of that machine. Now, Tyler gave both groups the exact same type of flashlight and motion activated music box but only the ones at the haunted Brackenfern Manor are activating. The instruments at the haunted house actually seem to respond to their questions, while over at the Airbnb, the same instruments don't do anything. And the night just gets weirder. I walk past this door right here, and there's something closed in there. Which one? Let's put the box in there. This one. What? Oh. Wait, that could that could have that could have been something, right? That could have been the air, the wind. Calibrate. Oh, ah. Okay. Yep. Bingo, baby. It's in the corner. I'm not doing this anymore. All right. Well, that's kind of all, all I needed. A window in one of the rooms moves by itself, and the music box activates as if someone is moving by that window. So, in a final it's attempt like to disprove the creepy results from the music box, they try one more test. We're up doing some late night research. Leave it silent for exactly 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <sighs> Alright, done with the morse. Thanks for the answer. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. Why oh, you got tears in your eyes? This is a big boy. It's a beautiful <laughs> moment, bro. I believe in ghosts. That is... That is beautiful. <laughs> they test the music box, they recalibrate it over and over, and they even change its location. But it still activates again and again. Almost as if something in the house is eager to communicate with them. What makes it even creepier is that the group in the fake haunted Airbnb gets no response all night, and they don't really experience anything unexplainable. So did Tyler's attempt to prove that ghosts don't exist actually prove that they yeah, do? Yeah, might backfired on him a little bit. Well, you decide. You can watch this full scary experiment over on the YouTube channel, Tyler Blanchard. Fairy? or flying nightmare. Wow. It's early That's in the crazy. morning, right like before that. sunrise, when Lisa Nathan from Essex, England opens the back door to let out the family dog. But something happens that sends Lisa running right back inside. Whoa! Whoa! A weird, pale Whoa. Whoa. something can be seen flying around Lisa before she freaks out and slaps it away. After reviewing the footage, Lisa believes she might have caught evidence of a fairy. Now, I'm certainly not saying that whatever this is, is a fairy, but it definitely looks very odd and no one seems to really know what this thing is. So if you have any idea on what this weird little flying thing is, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, ain't the woman Bell, that's for sure. in white. It's three o'clock at night when truck driver Kim McGill is headed down the interstate in Markham, Illinois, when something happens that is any driver's worst nightmare. Go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And 
Did you see it? A woman wearing a long white dress can be seen crossing the highway yeah. dangerously close to the cars and trucks zooming right by her. Almost as if she just doesn't care. Maybe she I don't. thought it was really, really weird. I, I, it creeped me out. I had goosebumps for like an hour straight on my arms. It was really creepy. It was, it was scary. Now, whatever this mysterious highway figure is, it has Ken seriously freaked out. And the next day, the story gets much, much darker. Because you see, the next night at the exact same spot, around the exact same time, a vehicle swerves and has a tragic accident on the interstate, ending two lives. But again, we're still keeping a close eye on this crash on I-57. What's the latest? Indeed, unfortunately, I have sad news to report about this crash here, Laura. Sorry to change gears on such a uh, beautiful and pleasant morning here. It's anything but on the lanes down there. Uh, this uh, terrible, violent crash happened before 2 a.m. this morning. State police now reporting two people uh, have passed in the, the, this uh, incident here on northbound I-57 near 147, just outside of Posen and Dixmore. The drivers and passengers Was in the crash the claim coast? they saw a mysterious woman in a white dress walking on the road. They say they swerved to miss her, and that caused the accident. Um, I had another driver reach out to me after I posted it on Facebook that he was going through there about 20 minutes before I did with another driver right behind him, and they seen the same thing as I did. Today, at the same time as we went through there, there was a car accident, multiple cars, um, two people ended up dying, two people went to the hospital. Well, the two people that went to the hospital gave a statement that they seen a white figure in the road and that's why the one car swerved into the other car. Weirdly, despite these eyewitness reports, cameras posted along the highway show no one walking in the road at that time. So did King capture an entity on his dash cam that caused a terrible car accident? You decide. Abandoned? Uh, that's Over crazy. 13 years ago, YouTube Urban Explorers Smash TV Canada set out one night to explore the abandoned old McCormick factory in London, Ontario, Canada. Now the group is aware that the property is often inspected by security, so when they hear strange sounds from somewhere in the building, they immediately suspect that it could be security and they turn off their flashlights to avoid getting caught. But what happens next is downright chilling. I'm gonna turn mine off then. Somebody's here. Somebody is here. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Watch the light up. Hello? Hello? Who's there? I seen someone back up. I seen someone back up. Anybody there? something can be seen walking into a room at the end of the hall, but the group doesn't see anything. After hearing bizarre noises throughout the building, the group eventually oh, shit, leaves to go home. They post their video to YouTube and many of their viewers immediately point out the eerie figure hiding in the darkness. But Jason and Chris say that they have no idea who or what this could be. And they say that the room to the left that the person can be seen walking into was just a dead end. So, who or what is this? Someone who knows that place better than all of them. All right, I really enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did, go on down there and leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. While you're down there, go on over. Slap that subscribe button. Become part of the Bill for Thousand Nation. We do some crazy shit here. 
If you want to know when that crazy shit happens, ding that bell. It might work for you. It might not. But if it do, if it do, jump in on one of my premieres, go over in the live chat and be like, hey, Bill, that's the best ding I've had all day. Ain't had a lot today, but I'm glad you was one of them. Leave a like and dip. That's all you got to do. As always, be good to one another. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Damn, that was a good one.